With the iGrow 800 controller, you can program equipment to cycle for relative humidity control. Now to get an understanding, we will quickly view our humidity set point. Now to get to humidity set points, we'll simply hit OK. Then hit set points and then hit humidity set point. You have three options. You can set a day set point, a night set point, and a DIF set point. But for this example, we'll set a day set point. Now on this screen, you can set your humidification and dehumidification set points. You can navigate between the set points by simply hitting button number six, which will allow you to navigate between humidify and dehumidify. And you can change the values by using the menu wheel. Now set time allows you to set the time of day you want this set point to engage. And the advanced button where you can set a ramp time as well as a dead band which is by factory default 2%. Now that we have went over briefly the set points, let's go into stages. Now on the staging screen you have your equipment on the left column and then you have three columns humidify, dehumidify, and cold dehum. Now to change the default state of your equipment in this screen you would navigate your highlighted cursor by simply using the four buttons on the bottom up, down, left, and right and you would navigate your cursor to the location in which you would like to change. Now in changing the state of equipment, you would simply hit the setup button, which gives you three options. You can override it on, no change, or override it off. And for this example, we're going to have our fans override on in dehumidification. Now when it comes to vents and curtains, you can input a percentage for it to open. You can also by turning the wheel, open all the way, 100% or no change or close. But for our example, we'll leave it at 50%. Now for vents, zero indicates fully closed and 99% the vent is fully open. For curtains, 0% the curtain is uncovered and 99% the curtains are fully covered. Now after you have assigned your equipment in this staging screen, you need to go to the advanced humidity settings in the advanced section of programming. So we'll simply go ahead and hit back and go into system setup and go to the advanced. And as you can see in button number one, it's humidity settings. Now with this screen, you have the option of cycling humidification and dehumidification. Now if you look at buttons number one through four, you can select your override on duration and your override off duration. Now the wheel simply allows you to increase and decrease your values. Now the override on duration is the time for the override to remain active and the override off duration is the time for the override to remain inactive or off. This allows fans, dehumidifiers, heaters and misters for example to turn on and turn off to help get the relative humidity within its set points. Now for vents and curtains this feature will open and close to a predetermined percentage and this is how it works. For example, if the controller goes into a dehumidification state and the controller is in cool stage 1 at 25% but then goes into dehum mode which is at 50%, the vent will cycle open to 50% for the override on duration and then close back to 25% for the override off duration. Now on the other hand, if the controller is in cool stage 5 at 75% but goes into the dehumidification mode, which is 50%, the vent will remain at the 75% due to it being a greater value than the dehumidification percentage value. Now the low out temp threshold is the outside temperature below which the dehumidification stage will revert to its cold dehumidification state. For example, you may want to dehumidify, but it's cold outside. So instead of turning on a fan or opening up a vent, you could turn on the heater instead. 
And as you can see for this example, we have the override on duration for 10 seconds and the override off duration for 10 seconds and the low outside temperature threshold at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's put this controller to the test. Hit the home button and what we're going to do is we're going to force this controller into a humidification state by simply hitting OK and then we're going to go to set points and we're going to go ahead and go to humidity set point, the day set point and we're going to go ahead and decrease the value dehumidification to 62 percent. Hit OK and hit back to save the changes and hit the home button and then what we'll do is we'll wait a quick second and as you can see your vents, exhaust fans and the heater as well are cycling because the controller is currently in a cold dehumidification state because the outside temperature threshold on the controller is 52 degrees but as you remember our threshold is 55 degrees and the out temp is currently 52 degrees and since we're in the normal state in cooling, you can see the vent cycling 30% because in cold dehumidification, our parameters were 30%, and the vents are cycling to 30 and then returning back to zero. Now, this is a quick response because of our cycling time, but in normal circumstances, you would make a larger cycle time period. Now, what we're going to do next is simply hit OK, system setup go to sensor setup and we're going to go ahead and calibrate our out temp to be a greater value to force the controller into regular humidity and once you have done this once I've done this change hit home save and as you can see the controller immediately went into dehumidify and the vent percentage is at 50 now instead of 30. The heater is no longer running because we're in regular dehumidification. And that's our video in setting up relative humidity staging on the iGrow 800 controller.